Hey, welcome back. I'm just doing a quick short little video here. I was in the garage working out and just looking at my truck while I was working out, thinking about a couple weeks ago, took this thing to the track. I had fun, ran a low 11. It was 11.35 at 114 miles an hour. Um, did pretty good. But, so I, I had a six pound spring in it, pulled pretty good, and it ran 11, 87 with a six pound spring. So I figured, okay, well I'll put 11 pounds to it. Bumped up to 11 pounds and it ran a little faster, like 11.50 something, but it wasn't really what I thought I needed to do. So I thought, okay, well I'll just give it the beans that I had. I put the two biggest springs I could put in there, which, well not two biggest, I guess it was the two that combined to make 16 pounds. Ended up not running any faster. It ran 11.35, so didn't really, I thought it was just either smoke them or do something cool, but 11.35, it's pretty good for this heavy truck. Um, so following along, looking at stuff, seeing that the it was still running six and a half pounds. Like what the heck, that's weird. I'm asking for a lot more than that. Gotta be a boost leak, right? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I got my reference for my blow off valve wrong or something. Maybe it's blew off and it's leaking, it's not working, so it's blowing all my boost out. Nope, that's fine. Right to the intake like it's supposed to, everything's all hooked up there looking around, then I spot it. I've got this little guy right here. Bam, this piece of shit right here. My lazy ass didn't pull it out and tap it. You know, I've, I've read that a lot of guys do that and then I hit up uh, Kyle from Boosted Lifestyles. He's like, dumbass, tap that thing. So it's coming out. I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna give it the beans of what it's got because I don't have my boost controller set up. I got my Mac valves down in here, but I don't have it set up in the Holly yet. Um, once that's done, then I'll be able to control boost with the Holly. Um, see what else is there. Oh yeah, so I've got a few projects coming up here. Uh, it's been sitting on the back burner because this thing's been just priority because between work and everything else, I just really wanted to use this to like blow off some steam. Now that uh, summertime's pretty much over, school started again, I'm back to for, uh, work full time. My projects I have to get done, uh, it's a 68 uh, Willys Jeep truck. I've got to put a small block 350 and a turbo 400, I think it is, or turbo 350, transmission it. It's four wheel drive. Um, get that one done it's for my godfather. And then I have a 55 Chevy that I'm putting, a, the engine actually came out of this truck, it's the roller 350. It's gonna go with my buddy's, uh, it's a burnout car, which eventually is gonna just be a, a cruiser. Um, I gotta get those two done. Once those are done, this thing is getting, uh, it's gonna get the rear suspension worked on. I got a flip kit for the rear end and a C-notch, and then the front suspension is getting some work. And of course, I'm gonna try to pull as much weight as I possibly can out of this thing. If I can get the other things done and everything lines out, I think there's still a couple of races to go into October. Um, today's the 1st of September. So yeah, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a busy year, I think, especially with all the COVID junk going on and um, other things in the world. Uh, yeah, cross your fingers. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, tell your friends about me, uh, comment, let me know what you think. I actually do reply because I'm a small, small channel. I don't have a lot of followers. Uh, so I, I tend to, I have all the time in the world to do that kind of stuff, sit on, sitting on the chair, <laughs> reading comments or whatever I'm doing. Um, hit me up. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace out.